have never played Planet Zoo before. Heard a lot of good things about it. I was a huge Zoo Tycoon fan back in the day, uh, but I have not actually had a chance to check out Planet Zoo. Uh, I recently took a trip to the zoo, the local zoo, uh, and it definitely inspired me to see uh, what this game is all about and see if we can uh, build something pretty cool here. So, uh, as I said, I've never played this before, so if you have any advice, uh, I'm more than happy to, to hear all about it as we go through our journey. But we're coming into this pretty much sight unseen, sight unseen uh, and we're going to see how this goes. I already like the cute little elephant here, so that's a good start. So we're going to create our avatar here. Um, that does not look like me. Uh, and we'll try to go through this pretty quickly because I can't imagine that it really matters that much. I like these sideburns. Oof, man. Um, so I did a little bit of this briefly when I first kind of opened up the game just to see how it would play. Um, so I'm just going to get myself... Ooh, how do, can I keep the sideburns, honestly? Like, maybe we just keep the sideburns. Um, but I'm going to make an avatar that looks a little bit like me. We'll see how it goes. Was this the same haircut I had? Yeah, it seems pretty decent. I don't, I don't know why they start everyone off with these uh, with some sunglasses. I feel like it's a bit of a fall, spring look. Definitely a little bit. Ooh, could be an ice cream cone, man. I like the cool kangaroo shirt there. I don't really know what this is going for. Is this like an animal shirt? Oh, yeah, I have a little tail on the shorts. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. Um, let's go. I feel like a nice little... There we go, right? I actually kind of like the tail, I'm not going to lie. That's pretty solid. Maybe a slightly darker blue here. Ooh, purple. And eh, I like dark blue. Actually, here, we could do a nice light blue. There we go. I originally did pants um, when I was testing this out, but honestly, now that I can see the little animal tail, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so I think we're good to go, right? Let's accept yes. that. And, okay, so our Avatar HQ. All right. We're going to go with kind of northeastern United States here. That's us. What up? All right, welcome to Planet 2. This is exciting. We're already succeeding, everyone. Okay, we can sign up for an avatar costume. What does this do? Ah, get a free costume if you sign up for the, the newsletter. Well, that's good to know. Also, uh, oh, no active community challenges. I have heard about this. Um, just clicking that do. Nope, just shows my Steam name. Um, I have heard about the community challenges component of this, and I think that's a really interesting concept. We'll have to see um, how that works as we get a little bit further into the game. I'm also going to turn the audio down just a titch, maybe just the sound volume a little bit, I think. Let's see, that feels a little bit better. Okay, so let's uh, let's just hop into career mode here. I think this is a good way to learn, right? Franchise sounds really cool, especially with the concept of being able to trade and breed animals online. Um, but the challenge also seems pretty neat too. Uh, and once we get a little bit more accustomed to the game, but we're, I think we should start with career because I have no idea what I'm doing and hopefully this will uh, help out a little bit. Yeah. All right. Career scenarios versus time scenarios. I think we want to start with a career scenario and this specifically says tutorial. Feels good for me. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Goodwin house. Nice. I like like a little bit of the the backstory here do we start with medium can't hurt right in medium okay cool seems good good fit for us this music slaps this is great i'm enjoying this it's like a fun vibe so we'll have to see what kind of animals we have uh, available to us i have a few favorite animals that i think i'd like to get in here um but i'm also not sure what you can do like you know, how you can blend some aquatic habitats. I mean, in Planet, uh, Planet Zoo, in Zoo Tycoon, I feel like there are always very distinct things. You know, you had land animals, you had uh, aquarium uh, exhibits, you had dinosaurs. Uh, I don't know if there are any dinosaurs in Planet Zoo. I might, uh, might have to wait a little bit there. But I think uh, definitely a few animals I'd love to include here. Um, we'll see what we have access to once we get started, it sounds like. So... And I know, so I've played Planet Coaster a little bit. Uh, truth be told, I had a harder time getting into Planet Coaster than I would have hoped. It felt to me like Planet Coaster very much came became a game about like building an aesthetically pleasing park. And I always kind of preferred the sim management style. I, if you've seen the other games that we play on the channel, a lot of them are more focused towards the simulation component and resource management components of a game like this. And so I'm really curious to see how much uh, those components are represented uh, in this game. Because I think, obviously, the exhibit building is is uh, 
a little bit more of the building component here rather than the management component, but I'll, I'll see how that's been represented here. Uh, that being said, I think the building system in the Planet Coaster is pretty awesome. So if they can bring the same customization components that they have in Planet Coaster into Planet Zoo for building out exhibits, I think that'd be really fantastic. So let's see how that goes. Ah, perfect timing. Wow, the graphics are, are really solid too, I think, as far as... I mean, maybe it's just because I'm used to looking at a game from, you know, 2002. But this is cool. Oh, wow. Fully... Uh, Sorry about voice that. Over I, too. I, I have a solid. habit of slipping back into the Flanco language. <laughs> like his little bird within there. It's good nice. to finally meet you in person. I'm Bernard. Although I insist. It's like a weird like mansion slash zoo vibe Bernard here. Is my wife. <laughs> and even then, only when I've tracked elephant dung into the carpets. <laughs> Bernie, you should probably be changing your shoes after As work. You know, I don't think that's I a good own call. Several zoos, but I always like you to own show these? The ropes here at my home. This is the first zoo I ever opened, and a source of great pride for me. 100% beef flavoring. Mm. Mm. I don't know how you feel about that. <laughs> but we're in the middle of a big renovation. Okay, big renovation. And that's where you uh, got it. I hope you're Sadly, renovating all that old contract poop on the ground there. After developing a fur allergy. Poor devil kept sneezing his dentures into the lion habitat. So, okay. All right, this is nice. This feels a little bit better. You can off. at least finish something that's been started. Don't worry, though. Good intro here. I'm not completely throwing you into the deep end. My head keeper, Nancy Jones, will be lending a helping hand. Wow, a lot of detail on that oh, sign. The detail in this worker. game is just and she'll expect you to really impressive too. already. But I'm sure you'll get along like a house on fire. Or even better... <laughs> One that isn't on fire, less shouting that way. <laughs> if they have the not firehouse, that sounds better. I don't know if Hello they have there. a system for From firefighting that rosy in this fresh game. Face of yours, I'm guessing you're Bernie's new hire. Good. Now, I hope you're ready to ditch your diploma because we're about to get really hands on. Okay. But before we begin the real work, how about we familiarize you with the zoo by learning oh. how to fly around it? The zoo's in the middle of nowhere. How do you even get to this zoo? Animals. We'll start by popping over and having a look see at the grizzly bears in their Ton habitat. Of them, eh? Hmm. Hmm. People well, hmm. Might be a bit hard to get into the zoo uh via that tunnel, I can tell you that much. Alright, well so we're just gonna ignore we're gonna ignore that concept. Alright, so let's familiarize ourselves here. It looks like I wonder if Bernie still lives in this house. I mean that's a pretty nice house. Oh, this is showing like the whole zoo, maybe? Or just contains those facilities. Okay, so I see. So people can enter through here. Wow, even the detail on like the freaking ground and coming through here. That is crazy. Wow. Let's see, can we get ourselves at the right height here? I'm sure there's a way to actually look at this. Uh, yeah, different camera angles. Using standard mode versus free look mode. Whoa, okay. We'll go back to standard mode for the moment. Oh, there's a little train. Oh, that's cool. Oh, we're definitely going to have to have a zoo train. Uh, okay, that's really neat. I like this layout. So the train goes along here. Goes past the bears. I know that's where we're supposed to go. We'll go to the bears in just a second. And then around here, what's this? Little zebras. Aw, cute. Little train stop here. Wow, this is a nice, nice little zoo. What is... Oh, he's enthused about something. Oh, inspecting the snow leopard. Uh, so, I don't know how I feel about it. I was literally just at a zoo with a snow leopard earlier today. And I have to tell you, they had a little bit more snow than this. I don't even see him in here. Where is the poor little guy? Snow leopard, where are you? Hmm. I'm sure he's here somewhere. The keeper seemed pretty excited. So, Oh. Nope, that is a sign. All right. Oh. Well, Look, I hear him. Oh, there he was. He's on the tree. What's up, buddy? Nice. Wow. Solid model, too. That's that's nice. Climbing up the trees. Okay. That is impressive. Oh, okay. So E is down. Or E is up. Q is down. Nice. Okay. All right. Well, let's leave. Ah, oh, yes. There we go. Look at that. Oh, perfect. OB. Love it. That's cool.
Okay, we're going to bears, right? All right, here are the bears. Did you know that grizzly bears, also known as Ursus arctos horribilis, can oh, hibernate cool. for up to seven months right a year? <laughs> oh, but then again, given the chance, I think a lot of people would do that too. <laughs> What's up, bear? All right. Select one of the Maybe bears one? and you'll bring up yeah. its information panel. I just did that, Nancy. This is where you can find out all kinds of information about your okay. animal. The most important thing being its overall welfare. You'll learn more about animal welfare today as we go through your objectives. But for now, let's enjoy this magnificent animal. Why don't you select the camera at the bottom of its information panel? Okay. Whoa. Some bear behind right See, there. See now, this is a fantastic way to get a close oh, look at your animals. Orbit. You can also get this view of an animal by simply double-clicking on it. That's cool. Okay, oh, I see. When cinematic ready, just makes you. Let's pop over to the other side of the zoo and take you. a look at the lions. I've okay. marked their location for you to find. How do I get out of this view? Okay, there we go. All right, let's go find the lions. All right, that was snow leopards. That was kind of African. Uh, savannah animals. This looks like restrooms, maybe? Restrooms and... Oh, no, this is probably like zoo maintenance. What is this? Does it say? Okay, yeah, keeper hut, staff room. Cool. Yeah, just general maintenance stuff. That's this nice little place to eat. I like the Toto statues. Those are great. Uh, oh, my gosh. So much more. We're only like halfway through. Okay. So this is, I assume, for people? Maybe? Are there animals in? No, there's a, a gate here. Indian peafowl, huh? Uh, okay, looks like maybe there... No, he's got to be in here somewhere. Interesting. Oh, there he is. Oh, cool. This is a peacock, right? Oh, sorry, an Indian peafowl. What's up, Indian peafowl? Alright. How do we... I wonder if there's a better way to escape that camera view. Alright, well, you can just hit escape. I mean, obviously that works. Is this a second? Is this like a back entrance? No, this is also part of the zoo because the, the train goes along back there. Okay. This looks like, again, more kind of like maintenance -y stuff. Interesting. That was a snow leopard. I mean, there's kind of this trail. I mean, there's not really anything on this trail. Let me get back here. This looks very unfinished. Um, okay. What were we supposed to be doing? Oh, this is visiting players. Okay. Interesting. What are we doing? Is this going to pull up where we were? No. What about this? Okay, there we go. Objectives. Locate the West African lion habitat. Oh, hippos. Awesome. Oh, and this is how you can do the aquatic view. Okay, this is already so much cooler. I see. I mean, I love Zoo Tycoon, don't get me wrong, but it's really cool to be able to do that blend of uh, subaquatic and land viewing that is really cool wow is this for the hippos wow that's nice got a nice little lean to there oh here we go they're highlighting it Panthera leo okay. leo we are west african lions. lion to you wow. and me lions are the okay, most social of the back. big cats and there can be as many as 40 lions in Hello, a pride Ms. Lion. although prides of that size are pretty rare as Bernie would say, those lions are awesome, <laughs> which is precisely why I handle the training instead these days. Awesome. Anyway, how about we get started on those objectives? Come on, let's head over to an empty habitat and see what needs doing there. Okay, Nancy. Empty habitat. Zoom out. I think it was the one that we passed. Oh no, this is oh this is well small little guy, but you know what? Let's As you start can small. see, it's a lovely space for animals, nice. but it's missing a certain something. I do like this kind of like well, mansion sunroom vibe somethings. here. Warthogs. <laughs> so oh, I'd like you to okay. adopt a pair of them. Can to adopt see animals, over we need to fence? open the oh, animal okay. market, which is in the animal trading section. Animal trading. Alrighty. There we are. A pair of perfectly splendid that warthogs feels, for our zoo. Um, Just click on them and select for a warthog. from the side the, menu. I mean, that's... Normally, the animal exchange would be full of animals, but okay. I've emptied out I the see. market while you learn how it works. The Ray last thing I need is you accidentally hairs. ordering a dozen is elephants. That like a genetic trait, it seems like? Compare mates. Uh, oh, I see. And we don't have any in our zoo, maybe. So, okay. Interesting. That's cool. So it's an adult. It's pretty big. Got a real chonker of a warthog right here. 
Okay. So these must all be like genetic traits. Interesting. What does Zoopedia tell me here? Least concern. Ugh, oh, that's always good to hear. They're thriving. Natural habitat. Wow, this has like actual zoo information. I feel like that's very interesting to me compared to something like a uh, a zoo tycoon. It's more so telling you it's like you need X squares of this grass or yeah, this stuff basically. But this is showing you like actually where they live. Um, this is icy habitat requirements, but even so, cool. This is really cool. Wow. Okay, so let's get let's get the lady first. Uh, we want Chonker though, don't we? Yeah, let's get Chonker. All right, I think we're gonna get them both, right? She said we need to get a pair of warthogs. All right, so we got Chonker, and let's buy Ms. Chonker too. When you adopt an animal, it's automatically okay. placed in a trade animal center storage. where they're held until you're ready to move them into their habitat. Is which, somewhere? as crime. it happens, there's a whole tab are. for crime. So how about you move them into their new Lordy. home? Well, I hope there's not too much crime going on at this zoo. Um, okay, yeah, let's. Wait, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. She said they just go to animal storage, just like chilling in there. There. What when did she you say? adopt an animal, it's an automatically placed in a trade center where they're held until you're where ready is that, to move though? them into their habitat. Which, as it happens, you are. I guess so it's just like this ephemeral plane on which we store the animals until they're ready to go to the. Oh, I see. I can literally just drop them into an exhibit now, so that makes life easier. Okay, custom seizure. Oh gosh. Did he actually get seized at customs? Or she, sorry? Can I move this guy in? When you ask for an animal to okay. be moved into a habitat, so your both caretakers will go to the trade center, oh, I collect see. your animal, and deliver so them to your selected Sir Chonker habitat. was located and in a private zoo, location. and Lady so Chonker and was seized in, in customs. I see. Okay. What should we... Uh, she said she marked something on my map, didn't she? Ugh, I need to stop talking over her. Whoopsies. Locate the animal trade center. There we go. I'm just gonna cheat. Okay. Well, as you can see, those caretakers really don't the warthog fits in that box. They'll move those animals to their destination that, as hold fast up, as hold possible. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Of course, hold normally up. we'd have to place the animals into quarantine before moving them into a habitat. But I am You're assured by a person of good you're standing a that these warthogs are in, in the very box. rudest of health. Do you know that right. that is a 92 percent huge warthog? So we can keep them nice and happy. I'm just saying. You see, each animal in the zoo has an overall right. welfare statistic, basically how happy they are, and that overall welfare statistic is itself comprised of four different areas: nutrition, social health, habitat, and enrichment. Just chuck them over the fence. Luckily, if you Did select the box an just animal, snort? bring up their <laughs> animal welfare oh, information no, the one's already in there. Which we okay. saw earlier. Where you can see how they're doing. That way, you'll know exactly what just poof out of the box? to be addressed. But don't worry if that's a lot uh, to remember. You can always okay. check the Zoopedia for more information. Okay. All right. So a lot just happened. I was not paying attention Let's to her at all. So I was making snide sure comments about the box. Care of the warthog's nutrition okay. welfare. To Feeding do this, station. we'll need to place a food station and a drinking station. Okay. Now, each animal requires a different type of feeding station. And for the warthogs, well, it's a small feeding enough. trough. So let's add one of those and a water bowl. Okay. I assume we want to put them where people would be able to like see them, right? So I put... Uh, oh, is it too close to the edge, maybe? There we go. Put the water right next to it. Animals also require stimulation go, to keep them happy. Let's oh, that's everything. Let's add a I see. lovely okay. mud bath for the warthogs to roll around in. Ooh, <laughs> that bath will count towards their enrichment welfare, okay, specifically their toy enrichment rotate. welfare. Rotate Z. That is okay. Angle snap. Uh, align to. Okay, I'm probably not going to remember most of those. Let's just hope that we figure that out. Um, okay, so we want to add toy enrichment mud bath. Oh yeah, yeah. John Chris already. Okay, V. Was it that aligns to... Nope. Z. Rotates. How do I... Okay, that rotates my whole screen. Okay, and then shift goes up and down. I can't, like, flatten out the ground underneath it, can I? Alright, well, maybe I just won't put it on a slope. What if we put it over here? Okay, I think that's just... It's not shading to show that it's clipping. It's just the right shading. 
So people want to see this, right? This is kind of action they want to see. There we go. Nice work. You've right, got so a knack for this. Oh I no, see. good. Okay, I see. Now, it just kind of like our contractor out. had good. to leave in a hurry, so this right. place is in a feral state. Unfinished thingamajigs and what's-its all over the shop. But the first thing we need to finish is the ostrich habitat. Yeah, buddy. It's over near the hippos. Okay, so this is this is our buddy Chonker, right? I think we have to rename him. Can we do that? Are we allowed to rename animals? There we go. Mr. Chonker. Thank you for joining. And Mrs. Chonker. Chonker. There we go. All right. There we go. We've got the lovely Chonkers right here. Now, I'm presuming that this means contraception is turned on when this goes red to show that they are not going to breed. Seem okay. Wow, they want more grass and soil. Can I even do that right now? Uh, looks like I cannot. I'm just going to have to roll with it. Okay. Highlighted area. Ostrich exhibit. Oh, we were looking at that earlier. Okay. What's going on here? Oh, before we actually start building our ostrich habitat, okay. let's pause the game. Just click the pause button in the bottom right also corner. Also the P key, in case anyone is interested. Ah, oh that's yeah, like that's going to take a, a second break. to fix. Sometimes it's a good idea to pause the game whilst you're doing something which requires your concentration. Yeah. Because it'll stop the zoo spinning out of control okay. while you're looking the other way. Let's keep the game paused while we get this ostrich oh, habitat whoops. built. Okay, job number one here is to add a habitat gate before we complete okay. the barrier. Every habitat needs a habitat gate. After all, how else would the keepers get in and out? <laughs> Just well, make that's, sure that's it's hooked up Nancy. to the path so the keepers can reach it. Why, why do you sound so exasperated with me? What did I do, Nancy? You literally, you're throwing me to the wolves here. Actually, not literally to the wolves. I don't think you have any wolves. How do I, I just had this up a second ago. There we go. Can we sneak it in like here? There we right. go. Let's complete the perimeter barrier so we can Alrighty. adopt us some ostriches. I've marked out an area for you to use. So I'd like you to finish uh, off the perimeter wait, using is, the brick oh, barrier. Oh, that's to raise it. I see that's to raise the height. Well, how do I get it to do those nice curves? Oh, I see straight or curved. Okay, curves. Well, actually, maybe we just do want to go straight. Height mode, undulating, flat top, flat top and editable. Blah. Interesting. Let's kick the length up a little bit. Interesting that you can't just like stretch it out more. Why? Why is the length so variable? I don't know what that does. There has to be a better way to do this than just changing the length each time, right? That doesn't make any sense to me. I can't, like, just drag it out. Hold up. Yeah, no, I get, I get that. Yeah, that's the other question, too, is how people are going to be able to actually see in here. So this is all brick. There we go. So let's delete some of these. What does this thing do? I don't, okay, that selects all of it. We don't wanna do that. We do wanna, can we use some tool tips here? Oh, I see that put in, that put in the little post there. All right, so let's do, there we go. Good work. Remember, before you can place animals in any habitat, it has to have a full loop of connected okay. barriers. Hopefully that'll get a little more now, intuitive. I think it's weird to be able to control the, the length guests right can't here. Actually There's probably got to be a better way to do that. The moment. Oh, you've At noticed, least not huh? without a step ladder. But seeing as they're banned, I'd like you to select a piece of barrier and swap out the brick for okay. a glass barrier so the guests can see in. Things there we go. Adding in oh, more windows easy. gives guests even more opportunities to see the animals in a habitat. It's always best to well, make sure I'm the guests can get a good view into a too. habitat from oh, the path okay. they're no, walking that, on. Apparently. Because it makes them happy. And because this would be a pretty terrible zoo if they couldn't. The last Deep thing we need to hair. do nice. is to add a donation box. You see, okay. when guests enjoy the view of an animal, they'll make a donation. Just mm. make sure you put them in easy to reach places like Please near a viewing point. Continue. Donation uh, boxes are one of the main sources of income for the zoo, so make sure uh, you remember them. Zoo culture here. 
To be fair, though, now, you know, for saving more dodges, animals that way, not a bad button. thing. After all, if the game's all right. paused, then there so are our caretakers, which will make right. it a bit tricky for them Come to deliver people. the ostriches, eh? Toss down some dosh for the uh, ostriches. Let's go. By the way, as well uh, as pausing the game, you can okay. speed the game up by clicking on the fast forward button. It'll run everything at two times and five all, times right? faster. It can this is a be gold useful, especially if you're waiting for money to accumulate or for animals to be delivered to your Fertility habitat. Is higher here. Personally, I use it oh, when waiting for a bird to finish. Is that a thing? Because they have right. the little. All right, you've finished the habitat, so it's high nope. time okay. we adopted those ostriches, don't you think? Let's get four of them in here. Oh, I just click. What does that do? The heart just shows up everywhere. Oh, so this one is not very far. I see. Okay, well we're clearly just gonna get them all. So. A lot of custom seizure. How many people are trying to transport ostriches through customs? Is that like a common thing? While we wait for them to be collected hmm. by the caretakers and brought to the habitat, you should get it ready like, for them. How do you smuggle an Add ostrich a through suitable customs? Suitable feeding station, I, I don't know. water I station, don't know. and an appropriate food enrichment item. All right. It's often best to place things Pretty like cool. enrichments and feeding stations near to the habitat perimeter, so guests can get a really That's good view of the animals. You, okay. I feel like she's just copying what I'm saying. Put slow feeder there. Put it maybe, what was it, rotate with Z? There we go, okay, you just hold Z. That's not too bad. There we go. Nice, classic oh, bronze. Good to see the ostriches have somewhere awesome. they can really stretch their legs. Did you know they can actually run? At 43 miles okay. per hour? Okay, Bernie dropping oh, the hot oh, ostrich facts. I love it. Escape. Oh, wait, here, if you want to watch <laughs> them go down. The camera finds a low oh. would bankrupt us. <laughs> wow. Hey, guys. Uh, the animations well, are really fantastic. Bernie animations and the texturing. Did you do like, a speed camera joke? Maybe, um, maybe uh, shortly we'll play ostrich. the original Zoo Tycoon so, and see what a difference the there is between... A Let's Zoo Tycoon from like keeper, 2002 or 2004 or something. To make it easier for the keeper to feed the ostriches and hippos, we should build a new keeper hut. Okay. Keeper hippos are right over there, so. Okay, the food I see. For animals. So they should be placed near keeper to the habitats hut. to make sure classic the keepers don't waste their time the walking when they should be better. looking after right. the animals. Oh, whoops. What did X do? I just want to rotate. Cool. You'll need to rotate the keeper hut to get it uh, to connect ooh. up to the path. Yeah. Rotate. Okay. Invalid rotation. All right. So Z. All right. Let's do the slow. Oh, okay. I see. There's a specific entrance we had to put down. All right. Well, that's not bad. There we go. Cool. Seems good. This keeper hut only has space for one keeper, but the larger keeper hut can allow okay. multiple keepers to prepare food at the same time. Oh, that's not an appealing hut. Mind, that keeper huts and yeah, other staff facilities shouldn't be placed near to areas where there are lots of guests. No staff assigned to guests this. Guests don't assign like staff seeing facility it? buildings, and it can affect their happiness huh. negatively. <laughs> In case that wasn't Thanks for the hint, clear. Nancy. Appreciate it. Something that all facilities, shops, and a whole host of other objects need is power, power. Well, and okay. that obviously includes your newly built keeper hut. So let's place a transformer Do next to it. Just have a transformer it, next to every. Okay. Maybe this will become now, more obvious. Now, the reason everything has gone blue is because you're using the power heat map. Okay. This map allows you to see what uh, is and what isn't okay. powered in your zoo. Makes so way more sense. once you've placed your transformer, you can click in the bottom left to turn the heat map off. Oops. Here. Where is? Oops. All right. So Z. Oh, and Shift goes up and down, right? I think I may have accidentally done that. Let me just make sure when I place this down. Okay, I see. Well, I obviously don't want to place it up there, so there we go. Ah, I keep hitting... Nope, that's not what I want to hit. I'm hitting X instead of Z. Okay, do Z. That's the rotate I want. There we go. Boom. Lovely work. Now the keepers can start using the hut to prepare food. Go. And thanks to where you put it, they won't need to walk very far to deliver it to the ostriches well, and hippos. Good. Let's get on to your next objective then. Bengal okay. tigers. We want to adopt some, but I'm afraid there's nothing ready for them yet. Head on over to the plot of land I've marked out. It's not too far away. Bengal tigers. Nice. 
Right, okay. see, your next job is to build a habitat from scratch. <laughs> And okay, concrete and we're glass, doing I expect. It. Awesome. So go ahead and build it. Just make sure that the habitat includes that big hole we've dug. Oh, and don't forget to add a habitat gate to the barrier. You can do that. Thanks, Nance. All right. Oh, and make sure the guests will be able to see the tigers. Thank you. That is a killer recommendation. All right, folks, we're going to take a quick break here. Hopefully we can save our zoo. Great. What are we going to have to call? Let's just call Goodwin House. You know what? That's pretty easy, right? So we're going to save our zoo, take a quick break. Thanks for joining me. Let me know um, if you're a fan of Planet Zoo, if you're enjoying this style of content. Uh, definitely a new game for me, but, uh, you know, I'm loving the little animal models. You know, maybe we could do a nice zoo comparison between Zoo Tycoon and Planet Zoo, because I think uh, definitely pros and cons to each of these games. Uh, I will say that this game definitely, well, I was about to show you how nice it looks, uh, and then I looked at a tree, but, I mean, obviously the ambiance here is incredible, uh, but I think it would be fun to show you a little bit of uh, old school Zoo Tycoon too, so... Thank you very much for joining me. And here, let's get a nice little screenshot ready. Oh, beautiful. Cap it all off, right? All right. Thanks for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy the rest of your day.